Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make a very simple interactive story using Twine on the internet. Now when you load up Twine uh, at twinery.org you'll be confronted with their home screen. You can download Twine and use it as a program on your Mac or your PC but what we're going to do is use it online. So over on the right hand side here you'll see that it's got an option that says use it online. Give that a click and it'll load up our home screen. Now our home screen here, we can see at the minute, it's a big blank screen, that's because we've not got any stories. On the right hand side, we're gonna click plus story to make a new story. And we'll call our story something. Uh, so just type in the title of your story there and click add. This will then load up um, our interactive story. And we'll see here, this is kind of our scene by scene where we're gonna write out our story. So first of all, let's click Untitled Passage. This will be Scene 1, so I'm going to title it Scene 1. And in here, I'm going to write what happens in the scene and then present the player with the different options they can choose. So I'm going to go for a real simple story here. And what we can do, it's a very simple setup. Our hero is going to reach the castle and they've got to choose whether to scale the walls or knock on the door. To write our choices, what we do is we put two um, two brackets, but the square brackets, and then we write the choice. So uh, knock on the gate, and then another two square brackets to close it off. And that there's our first choice. Our second choice, two square brackets. Write what the choice is going to be, and then close the square brackets. So we've got our text that's going to appear on the screen. Then our first choice, knock on the gate, in two square brackets on either side. And then our second choice, two square brackets on either side, again, scale the walls. So if I click the X now, and we'll go back to our view, we'll see here, now, we've got scene one that contains our text, and then the two different choices that can come out of that, with some arrows coming out of each one. So then if we go into each choice, so this is knock on the gate, we can add another bit of text for our player to read and then more choices. So when we knock on the gate, what happens? Uh, and we can write the rest of our story here. Again, two square brackets to add our choices. And this time, I'm going to make three choices, because we can have as many choices as we want, really. We don't have to limit it to two different choices. So I'm going to make the gate open, you get confronted by guards, and then we can either run away, fight, or... And the key thing is, for every choice we make, remember, two square brackets at the front, two square brackets after the choice. So we've got three different choices here, run away, fight, or explain your head to see the evil king. We close that off, when we come down we can now see on our second option, I can move these around to resize where they are on the screen, we're presented with three different choices. So we can just keep on building an interactive story like this over and over. But what do we do when we want to test it? So let's go down here and let's click the play button see if this works and it'll load up our interactive story. So this is our first scene that we wrote, our hero reaches the evil king's castle, you knock on the gate or scale the walls. If we click knock on the gate, which is one of the ones we've done, it opens up our second choice. So the gate opens and the hero walks inside, confronted by some guards, do you run away, fight, or explain the to see. And then we could click on any one of these options from here and it just keeps going. So that's it, that's as simple as it is to make an interactive story on Twinery. Best of luck and I look forward to reading your stories.